Hi guys, GameHorizon here with another Space Engineers modding video. It has been a while since the last time I made a modding video and well, there has been a lot of new amazing mod releases. So I guess it's about time to put together another ultimate mod list. In my experience, after 20 to 30 hours in a survival, you can pretty much experience and explore everything the survival mode has to offer to the player. So I've decided to pick 10 mods that are going to affect the gameplay, the survival gameplay. Let's just start with filling the universe or like your survival world with bunch of ships and planetary installation. So we are going to start with bunch of mods, eight to be exact, though I'm going to count them as just one big mod pack. They all work really well together and in my opinion it's a must have pack for more engaging survival experience. Our first mod, Modular Encounters Collection. These are the ones that I've picked. Surface occupation and planetary installations. Make sure to have them both active in, in the mod section or your mod list. Uh, these two will spawn different structures near you on the planets and the moons. Then we got air traffic, planetary cargo ships, corruption, and PBE combat. These three mods work quite well together to fill the emptiness of a space and planet atmosphere by spawning all kinds of ships. Then we got easy NPC takeover, which is going to help you to take control of NPC ships easier by just grinding down cockpits, control stations, flight seats, cryo chambers, and remote blocks. By the way, move this to the bottom of your mod list. And the next two hopefully going to help you with the performance. Hollow Planet Cleanup, NPC Cleanup and Performance. Next on the list we got Active Radar. This mod is super useful for those who just want to explore and find point of interest like abandoned ships, shipwreck or maybe other ships, NPC ships. You can even find asteroid with it. Anyway, it comes as a block, you can put it on your ship and you can also customize it so it only shows the thing that you are interested in. 3. Nanobot Aren't you just tired of welding and grinding all the time? Well this mod is for you. Just place down the blocks and wait for the bots to do their thing. Or let's say you want to salvage the NPC ship that you have captured. Thanks to the NPC uh, takeover mod that I've mentioned a few seconds ago, you just have to remove the blocks that <laughs> I, I again mentioned a few seconds ago and then pick a color on the control panel, paint the salvage with it and just wait for the bots to start grinding down the salvage for you. Simple as that, just make sure you stay in their range or it won't work. Four and five, we got aerodynamic physics and wing blocks. I think I featured these two mods in pretty much all of my modding videos. This mod list is all about adding value to the gameplay. And these two mods are going to introduce a whole new level of gameplay. And will affect how we fly and how we build ships. Highly recommend it. You can even use plane parts for more options and more options in the blocks. Link in the description of this video. Number 6, Small Ship Mega Mod Pack. One of my must have mods or mod pack for survival. This mod will port over all the large ship only blocks to be usable on small ship grid. Seven, Azimuth Complete Mega Mod Pack. If you are like me, a big fan of variety in blocks, but at the same time you just don't want to ruin the game by overpowered blocks, 
the smart pack is for you. It got everything from different kind of cockpits to action generators to fuel selection of weaponry, you name it. Highly recommend it. Eight energy shield mod. Okay, some people might not like this one, but since we have added the modular encounters collection, we need something to help us and somewhat balance the gameplay. I highly recommend using it, especially if you're like me and only make small ships in survival. This mod really helps with not blowing up in a few seconds. Number nine, grind to learn. Most survival games have some sort of progression system, let's have Imperial Galactic Survival as an example here. In that game, at the beginning, you don't have access to all the blocks and you have to play the game to do different acti activities to earn XP and to level up and now you have points that you can use to unlock different blocks. Unfortunately, we don't have such thing as a progression system in Space Engineers. so. This is where Grind to Learn comes into play. When you spawn, you don't have access to any blocks, so you have to grind down a block to learn how to make it. Now, some of you might not like this one, which is fine, just skip it. Though, this mod has one big problem. If you add this mod to your mod list, it will affect all the modded blocks, so basically you no longer have access to them and all the ships and stations that we are going to encounter are gonna be vanilla build. So you have to incorporate the modded blocks to your world. Okay, here's the way I'm going to handle this problem. Create a creative world with all the mods you want to have in your survival world without uh, actually putting the grind to learn mod. Now start creating a platform or a station or a wreck or whatever you like with some of these modded blocks on them. Then create a blueprint, Control B. Now load up your survival with grind to learn mod. Now with the help of creative mod tools, spawn the blueprint and paste them wherever you want. Basically, you are creating your own scenario this way, which is exactly what I've been doing to start my new survival playthrough, which I'm going to upload on this channel soon. Maybe, not sure yet. Anyway, if you think it's just too much work, just skip this one. Okay, now for our last mod. How about adding new planets to the game? Why the hell not? This whole list is about adding more features and value to the survival and the gameplay. Here are some of my favorite planets. You can even go further and adding a whole new solar system. Again, why the hell not? Enjoy the montage. There you go, 10 mods to make the ultimate survival world. I've tried my best to pick the ones that are going to keep your world stable and at the same time add more value to the gameplay. But before we go, I wanna add a few more mods, though these are some of these are just decoration blocks and some of them are unbalanced. Use them if you want. Uh, again, enjoy the montage.
so yeah there we go really sorry for my bad english guys this is not my main language i am doing my best here and sorry for the background noise and there isn't really nothing else to say here until the next video fly safe just goodbye bye bye